Uh, hi everyone, um, quick stream today, we are solving Advent of Code, uh, day 8, Advent, um, day 8, let me create it, Over from template, day 08, Like this, right? A new file here as well. Uh, let's get to it. Tree top, tree house. The expedition comes across a peculiar bunch of tall trees and planted carefully in a grid. The elf explains that the previous expedition planted these trees and were stationed for the accuracy of the orders of the tree house. We determined whether there is enough tree cover to keep a tree house hidden. To do this you need to count the number of trees that are visible from outside the grid when looking directly along a row column. Those have already launched a quadrocopter journey the map with the height of each tree or bad line, but for example, okay. Each tree is represents a single digit whose value is its height, where zero is the shortest and nine is the tallest. Okay. There is visible if all of the other trees between it and the edge of the grid are shorter than it. Only consider trees in the same row column that is only look up, down, left, or right from any given tree. All of the trees turn around the edge of the grid are visible since they are already on the edge of the uh, That only leaves the interior nine trees to consider. The top left five if is visible from left and top. Uh, top middle visible. Uh, the center three is not visible from any direction. It's okay with 16 trees visible on the edge and another 5 visible in the interior. A total of 21 trees are visible in this arrangement. Consider a map how many trees are visible from outside the grid. Okay, um, so we have the sample. Sounds simple enough, right? Uh, let's get puzzle input. Uh, a map of, of our forest. Apparently 100 by 100 probably, right? Yeah, 100 by 100. Okay, um, so yeah, let me run, connect, no, I don't want to connect, I guess I have an Apple port stuck somewhere, yeah, connected, okay, um, yeah, let's val, and then z, well, okay, I need z, uh, <clears throat> yeah, parse. So basically, parse is um, we take data, split lines, right, and map v, map v com parse long str parse sample one yeah sample one uh, parse so some, something something is not yeah like this Okay, uh, three zero three seven three two five five one two yeah. Okay, so um, basically, what we need to do is go over each tree and determine if it's visible from any position. Right. So basically, we need a function called visible visible uh, forest x y right and basically what we need to do maybe with and hide oh. let with count first forest height count forest right so this is our recent high and basically we start um so it is visible 
if one of the so for example every range 0x get in so it's basically a tree is visible if uh, uh, shorter than it. so it's smaller so basically get in forest uh, y percent like so we go to the left in this case is smaller uh, Basically, like this. If smaller three percent, why height, right? So it's either this or starting from increment x to width. Or uh, now we go with uh, Y basically, right? So uh, we start with increment Y and go all the way to the height. So this is uh, visible. Okay. Um, 4x, uh, basically, we call this forest, right? Uh, we need recent height. Uh, and then we basically for um, X range zero is Y range zero height. Um, when not visible for X Y, it doesn't matter what. It, uh, What? Yeah, visible, okay. So it says only four are visible, but we should have 21 actually. What? Hmm, it's interesting actually. Let's say x, y visible like this. Let's see. Um, oh, because we need uh, five. 16, 5, uh, total 21. So we need to count the ones that are visible, the four invisible, right? Hmm. 
21, yeah, okay, so, uh -huh. let's see, that's right, that's okay, we get it, we got it, uh, sorry, yeah, um, part two, let me see that it's recording, it seems that it's, it's recording, hopefully it's recording, hopefully it's better than OBS, uh, content with the amount of three covers available, uh, they'll just need to know the best spot to build a tree house. They would like to be able to see a lot of trees. So measure the viewing distance from a given tree. Look up, down, left and right from the tree. Stop if you reach an edge or at the first tree that is the same height or taller than the tree under consideration. If a tree is right on the edge, at least one of its viewing distances will be zero. The elves don't care about distant trees taller than those found by the rules above. The proposed tree house has large eaves to keep it dry, so they wouldn't be able to see higher than the tree house anyway. In the example of this is the middle five in the second row. Looking up, its view is not blocked, so it can see one tree, the height of three. Looking left, it can it's the view. Uh, can see only one tree of height five right next to it. Okay, looking right, its view is not blocked, you can see two trees. Uh, looking down, its view is blocked eventually. You can see two trees, one of high tree, and the tree of high is all the it's tree. A tree scenic score is found by multiplying together the viewing distance and each of the four directions of this tree is four around. Agar Hyan, you can do even better. Consider the tree of height five in the middle of the fourth row. Blah blah blah. What's the highest thing score possible for any tree? Okay, yeah. So basically, we do the same kind of right, but uh, we write different function a little bit. Like uh, we don't need this. Uh, we still keep pars. We call it forest. We probably need uh, W and H. Uh -huh. um, uh, and what's called score for three, right? Um, so basically, we need a count of three, which is basically take while. Uh, then the problem here is that we need uh, one more. So maybe we should write different function. Uh, because take while is slightly wrong. So basically, it's gonna get a predicate and collection or excess, right? Um, so basically, it's a loop of uh, res, which is empty collection, access, which is access. If uh, basically, count empty access res not bread access conch res first access right um, first oh it's actually count plus let x first access not bread x uh, conch else recur conjures x next access okay something like this um bread, um, okay something like this right uh take trees so we go or we go actually starting from decrement x to zero minus this step minus one I actually go to minus one because we want zero right um, and
Right, what if we are on, on the border? That would be zero. Oh. Yeah, okay. So basically something like this, right? Uh, we will go right. In this case, we start from increment x with uh, eventually widths. And same goes for basically um, Y, right? And then we do count on everything and we multiply, basically. Okay, um, we, we, we go the same kind of for x, y, uh, x, y, score, forest, x, y, kind of, just to check, right? And in our case, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1, should give us a score of four. Two one should give us a score of four. Yeah, it seems right. And uh, two three should give us a score of eight. Two three score of eight. Yeah, it seems correct. Cool. Uh, so basically, reduce max zero. And here we just keep the score right. Um, so it's us say it, and for the forest, like this, it's this. Yeah, that's the right answer. Yay, we solved it. Uh, okay, um, do we want anything extra here? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's also pretty self-explanatory, so let's just commit it. Uh, year 2022, day 08. Boom. 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 Okay, cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, we are done with it. Thanks for watching. Come tomorrow for the next task. <laughs>